Good evening, this is Cheryl Peavy coming to you on day number 32 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. Now, if you're just joining me, I just want to say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And I want to give you a quick recap of this journey. If you're joining me for the first time, or if you're coming back on just checking me out and you haven't been following this journey for a while, I just want to let you know that this journey was brought to me or challenged to me by CC Clark. She is a coach, speaker, author, entrepreneur, and she works with Lisa Nichols in motivating the masses as the director of global sales. She challenged me to come on every day for 90 days to help me get out of my fear zone, being fearful of not walking in my purpose. So I have been coming on for the past 31 days and just sharing some things with you that I'm learning that I am going through on this process of living the life of my dreams, walking in my purpose, and living my purpose. So today I want to talk to you about responsibility. And what I mean by that is that all of us have gone through things in our life. Growing up, I'm talking about in our childhood, some have had exceptional, amazing childhood experiences. Some have had less than amazing experiences. Some have had trouble. Some have had problems. Some of us, of us have grown up, you know, in different circumstances that has affected us in our adulthood. So I want to say to you, whatever has happened to you in your childhood. Now, for me, it was my mom, you know, being, you know, diagnosed with MS when I was a young girl and me having to not have a regular childhood that a lot of kids had a playing and things like that. I had to really help out in the house more than being able to go outside and play. And then not having my father in my life when I needed him and feeling abandoned caused a lot of self-esteem issues and things of that nature where I didn't love myself, I didn't like myself. So those things that were happening in my childhood, and there's some other things I haven't shared yet, but some those things were happening. And I want to say to you that the things that have happened to you when you were growing up, you were not responsible, eh, responsible for those things. It was not your fault. If you were molested or abused, if you were abandoned, if you grew up in a dysfunctional family, going through divorce or illness or losing a parent or, you know, any type of transitional changes you had to move from one place to another or being on welfare, whatever the case may have been, you were not responsible for those things because you had no control over the choices that were made. So I want you to let those things go. Do not blame yourself for your childhood because I used to blame myself for the things that happened to me growing up. I'm telling you today, it was not your fault. Do not take that on anymore. Do not blame yourself for your childhood. Now, when we become adults, we have a choice. God has given us a choice. We are responsible for our life the day we come become adults. So the things that happened in our past, we need to deal with those issues, figure out how to turn our pain into a passion, into a purpose, and come to accept things that happen to us and look at them in a bigger light that God is going to use our pain. God is going to use the things that are hurt us in our life growing up or even thereafter, to help, heal, inspire, encourage others. So like again, you are not responsible for what has happened to you growing up, but now you are. And if you don't know how to let go of those things that has happened to you, prayer, meditation, talking to someone, talking to others, to who people who are really behind you want to help you, want to help you heal and grow so you can be the best that you can be. Now, as we continue to go on and we realize that we have a responsibility that no one is going to save us. And what I mean by that, no one's going to come and say, I'm going to come to your rescue and I'm going to help you be responsible for your life. You're not. For me, even as an adult, I still wanted to blame people for 
where I was at today with the things were going on in my life, I would say, okay, this is happening because my father wasn't in my life or this was happening because so-and-so did this to me. I would always put the blame on others because it's easier to blame somebody else than yourself. Who truly wants to look at themselves honestly in the mirror and take an assessment and say, you know what? I did play a major role in this circumstance or at the place that I'm at. So, like I said, it's time for you to let those things go. You are responsible for your life. You can be and do whatever you want to do. We are the only ones that hold ourselves back. So again, I'm trying to encourage you or anybody who's going through this process or who hasn't allowed themselves to let experiences go, think about it. There's children who are growing up now becoming adults graduating high school, going to the next level and not understanding truly what adulthood is about. It's more responsibility. People look at you as an adult, so they expect more. They don't expect childishness. They expect you to be mature. They expect you to be hand, to be able to handle things that are thrown at you. So this, this, this also is for young people. Like I said, becoming an adult. Whatever's happened to you in your life, you gotta figure it out and learn to let it go. And if you don't know how, and if you don't know the answers to some things that you've gone through, prayer, meditation, speaking to someone with wisdom and experience, because I'm telling you, the older people have an amazing experience and advice of things that they've been through. When we don't think they've been through anything, they have been through a lot. And the Bible will help you. <laughs> There is truly an answer for everything we go through in the Bible. We just have to find it, seek it out. We have to pray and ask God to reveal the answer for us. So today, as always, I'm going to leave you with some quotes from who else? Oprah in Les Brown. But I hope that this will encourage you to understand, to help you realize that no matter what we've gone through now as an adult, Right now, we are responsible for our happiness, for the people we allow in our lives, for the decisions that we make. It's time to step up, stand up, own our BS. That's what I want to say. <laughs> now, here's one. Your attention, please. No one is coming to save you. This life is, excuse me, the life of yours is 100% your responsibility. I can't say that. Responsibility. Let me say this one more time. Your attention, please. No one is coming to save you. This life of yours is 100% your responsibility. Accept responsibility for your life. Know that it is you who will get you where you want to go. No one else. Les Brown. Come on. I like that one. You will get you where you want to go, no one else. You will. You are responsible for your life. You can't keep blaming someone else for your dysfunction. Life is really about moving on. That's Oprah. Now today, I thank you for joining me on day number 32 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great rest of this holiday weekend and have some fun and enjoy. Bye.